everyone, welcome back to Rebecca's Coloring Arts and Crafts. I'm hoping this is in focus. I just wanted to bring you another puzzle haul today of some stuff that I've got here. Some of this is from Very Puzzling, which is probably one of my favourite, well, my favourite puzzle store here in Australia. Um, they're actually working on slowly getting more brands in. The Graphigo is still on its way. Um, and yeah, so I've got some here. You may notice some doubles here from other ones. And that's because I'm just got pillows collapsing everywhere on me including a dvd box set <laughs> because i tried sitting things up here um but yeah so if you heard something fall that's what it was it was a dvd box set hopefully it's not too damaged fingers crossed i'll just quickly pick it up i think a disc has come loose in one of the things but i'll sort that out in a minute um but yeah so, um, you may notice some doubles here with the Disney Villainous, and that's because I am planning on when I can eventually get some money together using them for giveaway things. Um, so like, yeah, basically like giveaways, I've still yet to work out details or when that would happen. I'm also trying to collect, I know I've got the 40,000, but I want to collect all the 1,000 piece versions because there's some 1,000 piece versions that are coming out that aren't in the 40,000 piece version and yeah we've got some Heye, some Clementoni, um, some Ajuka, all the rest but yeah um yeah <laughs> probably very puzzling is my favorite and I'm really excited to be working with them I'm sorry I haven't done a lot lately my health has really been kaput and bad and I'm going back to try a doctor I used to see as a kid, see if she can help and hopefully I can get an appointment for February next year. But meanwhile, I've been doing tests and that in preparation. But first I'm going to start with some of the stuff from Very Puzzling. The puzzle board, which is from Very Puzzling too, I'm going to actually leave till last because awkward kind of thing. Um, I've just moved all my pillows and stuff from my bed that I've got on here to do this because there's quite a few. Um, so yeah, um, I'll start first with the ones that I'm going to use for giveaways eventually. So these are um, Villainous Queen of Hearts. I'm yet to work out how I'm going to do these and I can't do it right now when I've got a whole heap of medical costs. But I want to use these eventually for things like giveaways. So we've got the Disney Villainous 1000 Piece Queen of Hearts by Ravensburger which obviously I love these and I know they've just recently released some new um, villainous ones somewhere but they're slightly different style to these ones for the new release ones so yeah it's interesting I've also got um, Jafar here from the villainous series and I'm not sure when I'm going to do giveaways whether it'll be just be one at a time or how I've yet to work that out and I'm going to work it out more when I'm actually able to financially do the giveaways. So we've got the Villainous Jafar as well. We've also got um, Villainous Prince John. And the final one that I've got here is Villainous Maleficent. And obviously these aren't going to be really um, regular giveaways or whatever when I start doing it because of my finances and budget and all the rest. But it's something that I want to look into doing for the future, I'm thinking. So, so I'm sort of thinking of using, possibly using some of the doubles for giveaways but with the some of them I'm going to keep but I sort of collected some that I can use as giveaways in the future as part of the things with the channel kind of thing so the next one I've got here which is also from very puzzling and those were ones that I got from very puzzling if you're interested in getting any of those they are from very puzzling um is the collector's edition Cinderella version in the 1000 pieces yes I do have the 40,000 piece one um, but I've also got the 1,000 piece in this of Dumbo and I wanted to collect all the other 1,000 pieces 
also because they are adding more of the other series onto these as they go. Um, so I sort of wanted to collect all of those as well, if that makes sense. Because even though they're similar, they're still slightly different and there are new ones being added onto that collection just in 1,000 pieces. So I'll just shift you, Printy, for a mini. The next one I've got here, oops, sorry, I almost lost the iPad off the thing there. Is this 4,000 piece Ajuka Geisha? I'm guessing it's um, something to do with the seasons. And from what I know, this is a new release this year from Ajuka. But I love how it's got all the different Geishas on it. I haven't been able to fully work out the seasons yet on it. But I love it. It's just a shame the box came a bit dinted on that because I bought it through Amazon. But yeah, it's really pretty and I really love it. And it's 4,000 pieces. I don't know if I've shown this one before or not. So I'm taking a guess. And then you got your Ajuka details on the back. I'll also show you this one so then I can put that one back there. This is a 6,000 piece Clementoni. And this is, um, pretty certain it's Las Vegas one. Let me just speak. Oops, sorry, it's very heavy. Yeah, it's just called Las Vegas. Focus. Yeah, Las Vegas, 168.6 by 118.4 centimetres. And this one's only just going to fit on my table um, with the width because my table is 120 centimetres. So it is only just going to fit. So it's going to be a tight squeeze with this one. But I got lucky there because um, so a lot of the other 6,000 piece Ajukas and stuff that I bought are actually smaller size or around the size of a 5,000 piece. So I didn't realize 6,000 pieces could go to this sort of height. But yeah, I just love this Las Vegas nighttime one. But I have noticed this version, there is another Las Vegas version out there with um, water fountains and that, which still seems to be regularly available. But this version isn't regularly available anymore from what I could tell. So I felt very lucky to sort of scoop this one in out of things, I guess you could say. And I'm probably going to have to just give me a minute to shift a couple of these things off and we'll get to the others whilst... In a minute, I just want to shift these off out of the way so that I can open up the puzzle board, which I haven't opened up yet. Um, once I get to it, I've got to put those away. Kit, oh, why does it keep coming up with this accessory? It's not supported. It's something to do with my iPad pencil, but I have no idea why it's doing it. Because it's kind of annoying because of the fact that there is no reason the iPad pencil shouldn't be working with it. Because it's usually working, but it does the same thing with the power cord, but it's not on the power cord for my iPhone. But that's because the power cord is kind of broken. But this one, there is no reason it should be doing it with regards to the Apple pencil, but it still does. So I have no idea what's going on with it. So, yes. So the next one I've got here is, um, I'm just quickly going to take this off, sorry. Just because it's a bit too heavy with the keypad and my hand and wrist and that. But um, is this Heye 2000 piece puzzle edition by Alexander von Humboldt. Um, this is a panorama version. So I'll just try and get it where we don't have such a reflection. Sorry, Princey. So this is a 2000 piece, one of the Alexander von Humboldt editions. And I really love the sunset and the sky and the landscape and everything with this one. Also, you'll notice on the back, um, these ones, these are the 2000 piece editions. So I actually have the Red Dawn, Sembury National Park, Kenya. I now have the Oak Tree, Columbia Hills State Park, USA. I also have Herd of Elephants, Okavango Delta, Botswana. And I have Paradise Palms, Bahia Honda State Park, USA. But I haven't been able to find 
these three here, so I'm guessing they're out of print or something. This one's also very pretty, the garden one, but I don't think that's available in 6,000 piece ones either currently. But yeah, I really love it and happy to have it. And the final one, well, not the final one, one of the second final puzzles, and sorry, this is really, it looks kind of fuzzy in my screen, so I don't know if it is or not. The next one I got here is this Exotic Escape one, one of the new Ravensburger releases for this year. And this is 1,000 pieces. And this box is actually really pretty. But yeah, this is all your birds and flowers and tigers and toucans and giraffes and all different exotic animals, flamingos. And I really, really love it. It's really pretty. And then the final puzzle I've got here, which I found this one very hard to find here in Australia, and I got lucky and found it somewhere and got the last one that was left, is the Clinton Tony 13,200 piece Band of Thunder puzzle. Um, so this is obviously Band of Thunder. I think all that sky and those mountains are going to be tough, but... So could the grass and that, but at least the grass has a bit of pattern. But yeah, I really love this one and very happy to have it. And so I'm just quickly going to shift these off there. Shift this one over here. So I'll just quickly sit you up on the stand. Got a whole heap of moss coming in here. I need to get one of those. Sorry for the black colour. So, oh, I got it the wrong side. Sorry, that's why. I was trying to put it back on the cover, but it wasn't. The camera wasn't going over the camera area. Sorry about that. Bad camera work this time. I just want to shift the Clementoni thirteen thousand two hundred. Um, it's pretty much similar to the seller group one. It's got six bags of puzzle pieces in there, and I'm gonna have to work all this putting all this away after a game one thing i noticed about dogs too as much as you try to avoid getting dog hair on everything it still ends up on everything it does so i'll just try and get this open quickly from here so And I'll get you back on screen. And then put this back in. Whoops. Okay. Whoops. Sorry about that. So this is the Raven's Verger puzzle board for 1,000 pieces. So mostly offered in 1,000 pieces. So obviously it comes protected with some cardboard and cardboard strips and that, which I need to put back in. After this, I've actually been considering if there's a way that I can set it up on my bed so that I can do some puzzle whilst I'm in bed, but then I wouldn't be able to record that so easily. Um, Looks like it's all bubble wrapped up. I should have thought of this more before I did this, but I would have had to have bubbled it, wrapped it up again to probably put it back in there. So let me just sit you down for a minute. Um, sorry, I might just have to, I'll just put you on prints. Yeah, sorry. This is very bad video editing. So 
Sorry, I'll just stick you on prints while I quickly unwrap this. And then I'll get back to you. I've got to do more sorting and try and work out some more spots for my pillows and stuff to go. I should have thought of opening this before I did this, but thought didn't even occur to me, did it? So I'll try and do this as quickly as I can for you. Show you. that here so this is the Ravensburger puzzle board sorry for that I just didn't think a lot when it came to it so as you can see it's got this nice blue felt on it with the wooden ridge at the bottom um, I'll just lift you off here and shift it I've got everything kind of awkward and in the way right now and so, if I can get here, sorry, trying to keep this focused. Um, you can also see it does lift up and there are notches underneath that you can sit the table in so it sits up on a different angle. I sort of am wondering if there's a way that I can somehow record this in my room with time lapse whilst I do it but I'm not sure that there really is a viable way so that I can just work on some smaller puzzles whilst I'm not feeling well but yeah I'm not sure that there is a way of doing it but yeah so we got this gorgeous wooden one um the Ravensburger one is not technically the cheapest I'll say I haven't had the chance to try it out yet but I want to um as you can tell, it's just this pretty blue felt on a wooden backing. And as you saw, it does go different um, different height differences if you want it, or you can just leave it laying flat. And yeah, so very cool. Very happy to have this. I really hope you've enjoyed this um, puzzle haul anyway. Um, I just did the best I could. I've kind of got stuff all around the place because I haven't been well and I've basically been living here in my bedroom. Um, yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you later. Bye.